Hello Aquarius and welcome to your love reading. These will be out on October 16th, 2020. Therefore, the uh, week starting October 17th, I always like to put out on Friday so you get to enjoy them for the weekend because that's when I think most people have time for some love, even in the age of you know what. So uh, Aquarius, if you enjoy the reading or it resonates, please give me a thumbs up, leave a message uh, in the comments and subscribe. So all the decks I use will be listed down below. We're going to start with the Angel Answer Oracle cards. This card will either answer the question you have at the end of the reading, or it will become a part of the reading. So Aquarius, what can we get? Card for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Card for Aquarius. Card for Aquarius. Seven. Six, five, whoa. Okay, it's only two cards, we're gonna take it. The readings have been a little wonky, a little convoluted in some cases, and uh, with Mercury retrograde, I'm not really surprised. I am a Gemini, so I am ruled also by this lovely planet that likes to play games. Um, this is uh, the Romance Angel cards. Uh, also, Aquarius, if this doesn't resonate, check your moon and your rising sign. And because it's a love reading, most definitely check your Venus sign. And thank you so much for being here, Aquarius. Let's see here. Seven, six. Oh, there we go. Now start counting and it's like, whoa, got to give it. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, Aquarius. Look at that. And you know what I always think of? I mean, look at the size of the fence and look at the size of the legs and the unicorn. It's like saying, you can do this. To me, this is almost like another version of the Eight of Swords <laughs> because it looks like the option is yours, whether you stay here or not. So Aquarius, is there somebody you need to free yourself from? I don't know. What else does Aquarius need to know? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Let's see, Aquarius, what you get. Your first card is Temperance. Well, I would say if you're getting a card that says you need to free yourselves, Temperance would make sense because it's about... You know, the toes are just in here. It's about being patient. And I always think of, you know, this is someone who's pouring water or wine or mixing things from one side to the next. But there's also that knowledge that there is this path that's not so far. And it leads to the sun. And the sun in the tarot is always the, the wonderful card. But it's not an easy trip, you know. So you got to free yourself. And it's so funny because you got to free yourself, be patient, and look at ending a burden. You've been carrying a burden. That's what this Ten of Wands is like. It's done. It's done. So let's get you some more cards here. Let me get some uh, cards for oh, Aquarius. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Okay. And the cards you got from here were the Queen of Cups. She's very much in control of her emotions. And all I could think of is Aquarius is the water bearer, <laughs> which is actually the star card. None of these, but just made me think of it. And the Seven of Pentacles. So you've been putting some work in. So to me, it looks like you're aware that you need to free yourself. You do need to learn how to be more patient with yourself. And I think that this is more about self-care, the Queen of Cups. It's you learning how to care for you. And that would also explain the Seven of Pentacles, is that you just, you need to take care of yourself. And it's so funny, because as I say that, I'd say, you know, about you taking care of yourself. And, you know, you're putting in the work. You are doing what you need to do. You are taking care of yourself, and you got the Four of Swords, which, what's the Four of Swords? The Four of Swords is 
you know, meditation, uh, taking a break, you know, praying. Those are all things that it looks like you needed to do. You know, you put the work in and then you got the devil card. And this to me, free yourself could speak to you've created some bad habits, you know, and you need to stop them. Either that or you're dealing with a Capricorn Aquarius because the devil card is that. But the devil card is taboo uh, behaviors. I always remind people that there's usually two, uh, a couple who is chained together. So it could imply other things. Could also mean that it's just, you know, toxic behavior, bad behavior. Anything else that Aquarius needs to hear from you? Aquarius, anything else? Okay. That's it. And you got the Page of Rods. The Page of Rods is pages are youth. It's new starts and it's a new idea. And I think that you've come up with an idea on how to get that new start that you need to free yourself. And see, Seven of Rods. This is the feeling the Seven of Rods are, this is the partial success. You know, you defended yourself and you're just, you're a little tense, but I think that you're looking at it with a new perspective. And that's why the page of uh, wands is here. And you go from the page of wands to the seven of wands and you did put down the burdens, but now you're trying to learn how to deal with all that has happened and all that you need to do to free yourself from whatever this torment is that means that you need to be patient. Could be just so much as just worrying. Are you doing a lot of worrying? A lot of people are doing a lot of worrying. It's not, you know, uncommon right now. It's unfortunately in huge proportions, I think. So let's see what cards you got, okay, Aquarius? Be assertive and recovery. And it's so funny because I believe Capricorn just got recovery and they also had the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is that taking time, you know? And being assertive is the Seven of Rods. It's saying, I own it. I'm doing this, okay? I'm doing it. And yes, see, I've gotten some of it done and I'm working on it. You know, I'm working on it. So I think you are in the process of recovering and you're learning how to be assertive. So it's beautiful. Good luck, Aquarius. This is wonderful. So for you, your love card, I think it's not about loving someone else. It's about loving you. So thank you so much for being here. So thank you. Be safe and take care. Bye, Aquarius.